hard work uh, along with engineering and everybody and the environmental commission on getting this stuff done uh, and improving our parks. Um, I also want to, uh, well, I'll move on from that. In addition to our parks, the town worked with the Morristown Housing Authority to provide funding to make it possible to renovate a long shuttered Marion Sally Residence Center at Manahan Village. The valuable asset laid vacant for too many years and now is a resource for our residents and children for services and recreation. I am happy, I am happy that the town's affordable housing trust fund was able to support <coughs> housing, to support an important project through the housing fund. Furthermore, our new councilwoman, Tawana Cotton, played a valuable role in the initiative as president of the Manhattan Village Resident Council last year. And I am happy to have her part of our governing body this year. Woo. This coming year will be important for so many reasons. The 2020 census is one of the most important, let me stress that again, one of the most important acts of civic duty. As important as casting a ballot during an election time, the census determines federal representation and funding that has a great impact on our ability to provide services at all levels. I am asking all residents, citizens and non-citizens, to ensure that you are counted this April. The town continues to be a vibrant and desired center in Morris County, as demonstrated by the 30 new and expanding businesses that are located here in 2019, including five restaurants, 13 professional and service businesses. One of those businesses, Unmas, is a concept that is a multiplier. In fact, it multiply, it, multiple businesses are served throughout their doors. If you've never been to in Moss off of Catano, uh, uh, down by the Artist Bakery in the back where uh, the new Turkish restaurant is, go back and see what they did to this building. It is amazing how many businesses use this space and it is, is the new way companies are, are coming in and establishing new businesses for our community. It really is amazing what uh, this woman has done, um, and, and this company is called the Moss, and you should take a trip over there. One, go check out the new Turkish restaurant, and two, while you're there, go check out uh, what in Mass is. We are excited for new opportunities slated for this year, including Milburn's Milburn Deli. Does anybody ever go to the deli in Milburn? Nobody does. <laughs> so if you go to the if you go to the deli in Milburn, it's one of the best delis in the state, uh, and they are coming to Morristown and a new location on Morris Street, and also the Clean Juice on South Street. It's a franchise led by uh, legendary former New York giant David Tyree and his wife, Leela. Does everybody remember who David Tyree was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those were real giant fans over there, right? He's the guy who had the football to the helmet from Eli, and, and they ended up winning the Super Bowl that, that, that year. And, uh, I wish the Buffalo Bills had caught a pass like that. <laughs> <laughs> Several developments continue to be under construction. One project I am very excited about is the rehabilitation of Pioneer's Plaza, which will finally begin construction this spring. Come this time next year, Pioneer's Plaza will be the gathering place and anchor for the corner of the green that has always been envisioned. This project took a very long time to come to fruition, and I'd like to thank our team that worked the pro with the property owner to ensure that this project was executed correctly. Our planners and professional team work alongside with our business administrator, zoning officer, and staff with our governing body to lead smart, well thought out development projects that benefit our whole town. I want to reiterate my commitment to not just any development, but the right development in Morristown. Our new zoning code adopted by the town council has helped considerably in ensuring proper properly sized and appropriately planned redevelopment. There are properties owner in town who thought they could shoehorn giant buildings in the middle of our quaint downtown shopping area without a fight, not in our town. What we do, we welcome projects that add vibrancy and life to our community and add value to our neighborhoods by bringing rateable to share our tax burdens. Like the forthcoming M Station project that will bring world-class jobs to a large underutilized site while making infrastructure improvements that improve tra traffic congestion in the heart of our busiest corridor. We cannot allow the wrong project to overburden our streetscape <coughs> and serve to make property owners a quick buck at the expense of our town's culture, identity, and future. To future project, the character of our neighborhoods, the administration and governing body work together to pass an ordinance restricting the demolition of historic structures in the town to prevent the careless removal of our valuable heritage. 
I think that's an important place to stop for a moment because um, it brings me back to when I was a councilman. There was a property on Maple Avenue next to the, uh, which is now Normandy Real Estate, it was a law firm. And there was a home there that was abandoned. And I believe it was pre-Civil War. And when I was a councilman, I fought with the, with the owners of the law firm to preserve that house. Um, and, and it just was torn down and made a parking lot. And it, and it really had great history to it. And there was nothing in place. And, and over the years, we have tried to, uh, we haven't had that big push to, to have a lot of properties uh, be torn down, but over time, we see that people take their homes and, and reinvest by tearing down, building new homes, uh, or creating larger projects on the on the bigger uh, the bigger homes. So so we're kind of very very proud of this what the council did with this with this demolition ordinance, and it really is restricting, and it gives the town a lot more a lot more teeth, and uh, it's not so easy just to take down historic structure anymore. Um, so we're very proud of that. Morristown's growth has occurred in more than commercial. Morristown's growth has occurred in more than commercial development, as Morristown Medical Center and the Mayo Performing Arts Center expanded their facilities. Both our regional destinations are renowned, <coughs> renowned within their industries. The Mayo expansion will improve its already first-class reputation as Performing Arts Center and support the theater and local businesses. The Morristown Parking Authority will be building at approximately 560 car parking garage behind the post office on Morris Street. The proposed garage is approximately sized to support the current demand of thriving business community and help alleviate daytime street <coughs> daytime stress in the business district. It will also support our emergency residential parking program my administration initiated in conjunction with the MPA to allow residents to park for free during major snow events to allow us to undertake more efficient snow removal operations on our streets. Construction should commence this summer. <coughs> Excuse me, this summer. On an entirely separate note, I would like to personally thank and congratulate Bob Iannacombe and Stefan Armington on the re-election and look forward to our continued work together with the rest of the governing body to move Morristown forward. I would like to express my appreciation to